Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I'm the fifth person to cover this subject. And everyone, everyone else covered it like three days ago. So anyway, um, this is uh, Carlos Gomez's uh, designs for America Chavez. He's on a new, probably a mini series uh, called uh, America Chavez Made in America. And um, but first of all, let's go to my Indiegogo. So Jawbreakers, uh, God King is in demand i you have to request to take it out of in demand and it takes a couple of days but i said once i hit two hundred fifty thousand, i'd uh, take it down so you probably have i would say probably until monday but if you know the sooner the better and then uh we're gonna get all these orders this will be the third wave of fulfill fulfillment and then uh uh inventory and then there might be a second chance or it just might wait until the next jawbreakers and you know there'll be a a perk tier with you know whatever is is left over i'm actually thinking it's going to be that because uh uh aaron uh who's always good has gotten a lot faster so he's like uh halfway through the uh the next graphic novel so yeah it should be able to launch a campaign for that you know in a couple months um uh expendables just to hit uh, just about to hit 200,000 again. <laughs> there was a $200,000 stretch goal uh, that we hit, and then I had to cancel one of the uh, perk tiers, and then we went below. So, hey, you got to hit that number. So I took it off. Uh, it got, it, it was unlocked, and then it got relocked. So this is about to get unlocked again. Uh, oh, I don't think I've shown this in a video. I just did an update to backers. Uh, Butch Geis who I say in my head, Butch Juice, who is also Jackson Geis, who I say Jackson Juice in my head, um, turned in uh, some of his pages. And uh, we're all on schedule to have, uh, you know, all the art done by the end of the month. Okay, here it is. So um, this is a little side quest with Gunnar Jensen, which is Dolph Lundgren's. Tell me he didn't capture that likeness. That's freaking awesome. So freaking cool. Pandemic is actually doing quite well. That's just clicking along. Uh, the numbers aren't rocketing upward. Like the, the, the dollar total isn't rocketing upward because it's pretty modestly, you know, uh, priced. Um, and there's only one perk tier, just book. Uh, and then Iron Sights, Two Psychos. Uh, the, trying to have the second print file done by Monday. It is a little... It's a little trickier than you'd think, replacing all of the Zipatone for an entire book. Um, <laughs> most of it got done very quickly, but there's still a couple more pages. So anyway, um, close all down all these. So um, Carlos Gomez is a Spaniard, and that basically explains everything <laughs> about this. Carlos uh, Gomez, he's uh, he's been the main artist on The Amazing Mary Jane, which pretty much everyone likes. I I've never heard one person say they don't like it. and. A lot of the appeal is the way he draws women in general and Mary Jane in particular. So he was chosen for America Chavez and he drew her like this, to which everyone pretty much goes, nice. And they see this and they go, okay. And, uh, wait, is it? Okay. I'm learning things. You can put two pictures on a, or you can put, oh, you can like do little zoom ins. That's pretty cool. So he designed her shoes, a little booty, and uh, SJW's got mad. Of course. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, so this is um, one of the things that I thought was funny, and this is kind of, this is almost like another uh, uh, video idea is uh, SJWs always want you to know that they're moral, morally superior to fictional cartoon characters. <laughs> this is a constant thing. They're always trying to show how like they're better than Anakin. It's like, um, I'm like better than him. It's like, he's not real. <laughs> like, um, they're always like, I was just inventing like a, a Mary Sue article title in, in my head. It's like, Homer Simpson is trash, dot, dot, dot. And we need to talk about it. Um, so this is on Bounding Into Comics, which I never noticed their logo before. Nice, that's a nice logo. Um, Carlos Gomez reveals his final America Chavez design. Fans deem it over-sexualized. They put fans in 
quotations, yeah. Uh, so, with the destruction of the comic book industry on the horizon, no, it's in the rear view. <laughs> no, it, 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 yeah, it, it, it happened this week, this, this work week. It's, it's done. It's done. I was joking to my friend that I should just retitle every video I've done. For all of them before last week, it's just, you know, SJWs are ruining comics, video one. SJWs are ruining comics, video 300. And now it's SJWs ruined comics, video one. You know, it's kind of, you know, BC to AD. It's, they, it's been destroyed, they destroyed it, and now we're done. Um, with the destruction of the comic book industry on the horizon, Marvel Comics has decided to face the apocalypse with three defiant declarations of boldness, bravery, and vision. The relaunch of New Warriors, Children of the Atom, and a new America Chavez story. So here's showing that uh, New Warriors. Jeez. Um, while the New Warriors and Children of the Atom seem to be cut from the same unsellable cloth, the America Chavez Made in the USA book looked like it might have some life. Yeah, I mentioned this in a, in a previous video. Uh, they got a woman who I looked into her and, surprise, surprise, unlike... You know, Gabby Rivera, this uh, woman was not a fraud. She has like 18 years of uh, writing, you know, several different positions like uh, on a lot of really good TV shows. I mean, like going back to like the freaking George Bush days of, you know, America. Uh, so she looks very solid. She's who they should have hired two years ago instead of a fraud. Um, so, yeah, so you got a good artist and a good writer and it should be solid. Um so Carlos uh, Gomez debate debuted his uh, design on Instagram. And uh, while a number of fans appear happy about the new design, some believe it is, quote, over-sexualized. So there's a Twitter account called Let's Talk About America. <laughs> why do they all, why do they, why do SJWs all act like they're like kindergarten teachers and where they're students? Class, class, Homer Simpson is trash and we need to talk about it. Like you just can't say America Chavez Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about America Chavez. Uh, so let's talk about America Chavez. Talks about America Chavez by saying, I'll say I liked she looks a little softer compared to the first draft, but I think I prefer the old jacket better, even if it's busier. It's a little more distinct compared to the more recent ones. That's, that's a great uh, jacket design. But whatever the result, it's just hard to get over how sexualized this is? Question mark for no reason? Because that's not actually a question. He does say that this art doesn't reflect the tone of the series. And I really hope we're not getting anything close to this on panel. It's just excusable. Oh my gosh, an SJW is shaming someone. Plot twist. They just need to start ringing bells. Ring, ring, shame, shame. When he was announced as the artist, this was my big fear. NGL. Not gonna lie. America herself looks good, and she looks as strong and thick as she should. She also looks like a piece of meat. <laughs> Make up your freaking mind. Make up your mind. Okay, okay, so what they're saying is that, you know, enact the Taliban protocols it's like remember in batman uh 1989 where he parks the, the car and then he presses a button and this like kind of like magical armor segments armor like pops up from nowhere they want that to happen it's like cover her thighs cover her breasts which she's probably cover upper arms um cover ankles um uh the funny thing is tell me if i'm wrong what about is is you know gets you into shaky territory I want you to imagine something else. I want you to imagine this America Chavez in the same, exact same, but she's 300 pounds. And what would they say? They would say she is fierce. They would say she is brave. And they would be yes queening at the uh, uppermost uh, limit of yes queenitude. The problem is, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. It is driving them insane that they know that men will like this. 
that's what it is you know uh, it's like um i'm pretty sure a man's gonna like this and that's like totes problematic -y or whatever sees so yeah that that's that's the depth of their critique i'm pretty sure a man will like this i mean aren't you happy with her really small breasts i'm sure you Maybe that's why she was saying that she liked, maybe that's what, maybe that was like why she started talking about how she liked the jacket so much. It was code for, I like the jacket and the small breasts, but the thick thighs and the shorts uh, enact the Taliban segmented armor. So then she goes on. This is conspiracy theory, you e e. Oh my gosh. They're actually, you know that like pseudo tween style of talking that, you know, SJWs in their 30s and 40s like to affect. They're I, I can't even parody this. When I when I have them say like funsies onesies, I'm parodying them. But that now that's just so this is conspiracy theory. -y, but I wonder if Marvel chose this artist and this style specifically because it would appease comics gators. Oh my gosh. I know it's a cliche to say we're living in their head rent free. But it's, 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 oh, jeez. Not to humble brag. My enemies in life were, I fought the Taliban. I fought, me, you know, me and my boys, we fought, you know, in Iraq, the Saddam Fedayeen. Your generational battle for SJWs is, um, we fought like the comic skaters and we super duper eat like one or whatever Z's. Holy shit. I'm assuming you're an adult. You have to, aren't you supposed to have to be an adult to, to have a Twitter account? So then she's doing a, a quote of a character of, I guess a comic skater saying, America Chavez is cool now. She's not like those silly SJW characters with their covered bodies and respect for, oh Jesus. Okay, I got, I got, I got to click on this account. I got, I got to know more. Your space for all things America Chavez, Latin X T they them. Cool. Um. So yes, we do like it. Uh, we liked it when they uh, they hired a woman who has an actual pedigree and resume and actual skill and talent and experience in sales, you know, sales as in views um, of her TV shows. Um, and yes, we absolutely do like America Chavez looking like this because she looks freaking amazing. She's beautiful. She's sexy. She's got great muscle tone. She looks like a very sexy pseudo Hispanic uh, superhero because she's not. She's an alien. She's, she's not human. She's She's not actually Hispanic, Chicana, Latina, anything. She just has brown skin and she was raised in a neighborhood that was majority Hispanic. So she's kind of culturally appropriated Hispanic culture. Um, but then you get someone who didn't appro appropriate, <laughs> you know, uh, Spanish culture, an actual Spaniard, and he draws America like a Spaniard would. God bless you. <laughs> and yeah, we like it. We like that you uh, they hired talented people, not frauds. And we like that she's sexy. And that makes you angry. Okay, so Carlos posted his final Mac design for her upcoming solo. And yeah, she's got a big firm butt. That's your problem. That's your problem. And you know that men will like that. It literally looks like all her clothes are painted on. Sigh between asterisks. Yeah, that's, that, that's what a superhero is. Go look at Spider-Man, go look at Daredevil, go look at Nightcrawler, go look at Superman. That, that's what it is. That's what a superhero costume is. That's what tights are. I hate how she's posed. Yes, men will like it. That is too much. She can be hella thick and not be sexualized like that. Guess we'll see. Ugh, the way she is posed. WTF. Uh, so then uh, the, the uh, guy writing the article says, Personally, I've been a fan of the character since she was utilized in the Avengers Academy series. I appreciate her design, origin, and power set up to her usage in Al Ewing's The Ultimates. Visually, depending on who's drawing her, this guy is a very good writer, by the way. She's more or less looked the same over the years. Here's what she looked like in her first appearance in Vengeance Number 1. And she looks like... 
This is actually, if you ever see like uh, South American kids shows, this is what the host looks like. Um, so yeah, so that, yeah, that's what she looked like when she was introduced. Um, the most recent version is undoubtedly more curvy, but why exactly is that a bad thing? Exa well, it's because she's curvy, but still fit. If she had a giant gunt, if she was 200, 250, 300 pounds, they would love this. What they know intuitively is this is kind of an idealized form for most straight men. You got the wide hips, narrow waist, good muscle tone, feminine face. We like this and that bothers them. Uh, so uh, the author goes on. This wasn't Gomez's first attempt at redesigning America, if you can call it that. His first set of models were a bit more toned and muscled, but not a far cry from the second effort. It would seem that the imprint of the character's posterior, as would be the case while wearing yoga pants, has triggered some of Ms. America's fan base. I'm all for listening to your customers, but this is what? America's third or fourth relaunch this decade? I think the existing crowd of America Chavez fans has proven inadequate to carry the book, especially in a time when selling them will undoubtedly be more of a challenge. <laughs> That's what, what is it? What did he write down there? Uh, he put down original demonetized. That's pretty funny. If the tw Twitter folk lay off and appreciate that there are women that do indeed look and dress like this regularly, you know, they're always talking about shaming and inclusiveness. There are absolutely women who look like this. There are absolutely women who look like, where's the other one? Come on. This. So when these SJW feminists are going, ugh, and does she have to look like that? And uh, and, and yikes. And you look like this in real life. How does that make you feel? Because again, this isn't, this isn't about anything about real representation. This is about mentally ill weirdos and their body dysmorphia, their multiple, you know, psychological comorbidities or whatever you say. <laughs> Getting back to where I was before I was so rudely interrupted by myself. Um, Admittedly, during the last couple of years, America's design has been a bit different. For a lack of a better words, Chavez has become more masculine than when she first debuted. Squarer jaw, leaner musculature. And that is all well and good. Women come in all shapes and sizes. If I can accept that, why can't others get down with this? Well, it's because, like I said, um, we have allowed mentally ill people who sit on Twitter all day to have a voice as if they were not sick in the head as if they were not complete failures at life, as if they were not mentally ill, in some cases, clearly insane. I'm not saying this person is. I think they just have some body dysmorphia issues and they're projecting it onto other people. From a sales point of view, America's books haven't been a smash hit. Seeing a company attempt a change, of course, isn't the end of the world. To be honest, Gomez himself said his designs may not be reflective of what will be found between the covers. So all this outrage and eye rolling may all be for naught. I think Gomez's renditions are dope, but the character has become so polarizing, I doubt it'd change many perceptions at this point. Oh yeah, that's okay, so. Oh, they had a good amount of views, 4,000 uh, views. That's pretty badass. Okay, so, um, what is this? America Ch Chavez redesigned as a rabbit? Eh. Okay, it didn't open up, so I'm going back. But anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, just to reiterate my point, the problem, quote unquote, with this American uh, Chavez redesign is that weirdos on Twitter with body dysmorphia issues uh, know that most men will be attracted to that body type and it bothers them. They're all for representation unless it interacts with their own body dysmorphia issues and that way they're, they're fine with shaming. A body type that lots of women have in real life. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe uh, and uh, the Indiegogo. Yeah, um, sorry. I started reading this guy's uh, bio. Born and raised in Miami, Florida, Philip is the first generation American son of a Jamaican mother and a Bahamian father. His interests include sports, cars, gaming, and most things comic book related. The latter a passion of his since 1993. Uh, so, uh, uh, thanks for watching and I'll have, uh, more, oh, I got one more new comic book for tomorrow. Oh, and then there's also that Batman Adventures, but that's a digital. Eh, that doesn't really count. Uh, but what is today? 
Saturday? Yeah, by Monday I'll be all out of new comic books. Thanks for watching. Bye.